Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a wedding makeup look. This look is pretty much what I'm going to be wearing when I come close to my wedding next weekend. Um, when you see this, I will actually have one more week, literally, before I get married. I'm getting married next weekend. Again, it, I will talk more about the makeup I'll be using and more about um, the filming and all that. And you guys already know that the week of my wedding next weekend, I will not be filming in a Saturday or Sunday. But I have stuff planned for the weekend afterwards. That way you guys could, you know, see what happened and get a little glimpse of my wedding reception all that. So yeah, my son will be videoing plus taking pictures the whole nine yards and I'm excited. I'm scared as I said before, but I'm excited to actually, you know, do what needs to be done and finally start my life with my future husband. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you, you know, what my makeup look is going to look like and what I'm going to pretty much, um, you won't see like a way dress or earrings or anything like that, but I'll give you an idea of what type of dress I have, what type of hairstyle I'm going to do and all that throughout this whole video. So it'll be all, pretty much all winning stuff to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my look. So let's go ahead and get a video. So I'm basically going to take my little clips that I have and I'm going to just clip my hair up to get started. So this is pretty much how I'm going to start. I'm actually going to begin up at 8 o'clock next Saturday to actually start um, doing the preparation, getting things ready for the reception. The Friday night before that I'm actually going to set the tables up and everything, get the food. And around 2 o'clock that afternoon, I'm going to be going to the place to get made. My son's going to finish with the food. And 12 o'clock that afternoon, the cake will be arriving. So we'll get up pretty early to get things ready and to make sure everything looks good. In the process of my mom moving out before then and getting everything situation with that. So yeah, it's a lot, but I'm excited and all that. So I decided, you know, since it's going to be an all day event and I want something that will last and I know it works, I decided to use my Milk Makeup Grip One. This is like perfect for me because I know I will be, you know, a price wedding or wear a mask or, you know, just doing, you know, wedding stuff. So I wanted something that I know will last but yet want something that will make me look you know, basically, I didn't want to look flat, like completely matte, but I wanted, it's kind of like in between to make sure my makeup lasts for a long time, but yet look glowy, beautiful, you know, romantic, and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer, that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But yeah, I figured, you know, since this works for me so well, one of my favorite primers, it will be great for that day. Be great for that my wedding day. Also with foundation too. Now with foundation powder, I kind of wanted to go matte, but with the primer, I mean the bronzer, the highlight, the blush, and all that, I want to be nice, glowing within, romantic type. And the palette I'll be using is this one by ColourPop. It's the Blush Crush one. The reason I figured, because this would be perfect for a romantic type look, I mean, literally, this is beautiful. Plus, I have some stuff that I want to put on top of it, like glitter. So I'm going to use this Essence Melt Chrome right on top, all over my lids. I figured that would be perfect and all that. So for foundation, of course, I'm going to use my Naked Stay Naked Foundation, because I know, again, that's going to last me a long time. And... That's going to last me quite a bit. So I'm going to use my Elf sponge to put this on. I'm also going to use um, uh, bronzer. So I have regular bronzer and then I have the bronzer that, um, my cream bronzer, which I'm going to use because I want to actually look sculpted. But this I know does great. It does great coverage. It stays all day. It works great my skin tone. I mean, this is like literally a perfect combo for that wedding day. 
and I put about two pumps and usually I like to build a little bit so I'm going to put one more pump of this to make sure that everything's covered and make sure that you know it all looks good now when I get away from my um I'm going to start actually putting makeup on around one o'clock that afternoon just to give me enough time to make sure everything great and my makeup look great and all that so yeah this is kind of like the ideal I had when I start playing makeup and start wondering what I want to wear on my wedding day and this combo is just amazing. Like, I know this will probably hold up underneath a mask because I have a feeling when we go to that place to get made, we're going to have to have a mask on for, you know, obvious reasons. But yeah, this is what it looks like so far. It's all nice and even and works. Also, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do some contouring before I powder everything. So I decided to use my Tristique one. This is also in my part of pan that I'm doing partners with cream, which again, I am going to have my spring and summer pan up, but it's probably going to be next month in April because right now I'm just trying to get the rest of my wedding stuff done and focus on getting that done and, you know, using what I need to use to, you know. So right now I'm just focusing on, um, finishing my wedding and getting stuff we need just we got most of it just need just a tiny bit i'm going to use my sephora 47 foundation brush which look like that but it's great to blend out the contour and you know and this way i look nice and bronzed and i don't And then I'll come back with my uh, sponge and just blend the rest out. So I'll use my sponge to blend the rest out. And this will give me kind of like a shape in my face. And you can see, you know, how the contour looks. And because I really want to be contoured, do you know, I want to look good for my future husband. And when I walk down the aisle, I want him to see, you know, this beautiful, amazing bride that he'll marry for the rest of his life. So after I get that done, and I am going to use this contour, this uh, one from Complete Culture, I'm going to use that, and I have another brush that I feel will look great with this makeup, but yeah. So this is what I'm going to be using. I forgot to put on my corrector before I put on my um, rest of the stuff on my for my foundation. I gotta make sure I put on my corrector because I want to cover up my pimples. Fortunately, pray God that's over with. Be time so yeah, this is what I look like and all that. So yeah, nice little contour. Now for Cilla, of course, you know you want something to last for a long time. And for me, my eyes tend to get a little creasy. I know in fact I'll probably be up all Friday night worrying and <laughs> you know, bright jitters. I'll probably look really tired in the morning, which I mean I'll probably do like a mask and eye mask the night before to help but the one thing that works for me is the benefit boring one and this actually works so well for me like literally i put this on it does a crease it blends up beautifully and it works really well so i'm just going ahead and just do my highlight spots like i need my eyes and on my nose i truly think i'm almost running out because i feel like i'm probably got any and of course my little pimple spots chin and everywhere that you know you usually highlight and cover up spots and especially around my nose because I know I always get right around my nose sucks so I'm going ahead and use the tip of my sponge and just go ahead and blend this out then after that I will just use the powder and you know and also I'll be using eye cream the day of and the night before and also using, you know, make sure I wash my skin, have great skin stuff underneath my makeup so it'll last even longer. And just make sure I look, you know, beautiful. So go ahead and get this done. 
And I would do my eyes first, but I know the palette ColourPop really, I mean, very blendable, but it's not really like you want it falls down and stuff and, you know, have all that, which sucks when I have that type of uh, palette. But for ColourPop, they do a really good job and they make sure that it does have no fallout and that it works really well. So the reason I didn't do my eyes first. Because I know it'll work. So after I set everything and make sure it's all blended out, I'm going to use, of course, my favorite powder, which this one I use underneath my eyes. I shouldn't break up, but you guys know. You guys already know I have a hole in a pan, they would say. But I figured, you know, with, again, being all day and everything, I have to make sure I get something that works. So the powder I'm going to use all over my face is the Peach Perfect Powder, which I know that will help, too. I also did a Holy Grail video showing, you know, what works and what I use when my skin is, like, really oily. And that was one of them. You know, I've used that for years. And I know on my special day, I don't want my skin to be oil or slick or fall off or melt or anything like that. Especially since I don't know what the weather's going to be like. You know, it may be warm, it may be hot, it may be cold, it, you know, you never know. I know it will be mostly inside, but still, outside could be a different story. So I'm just going to take this and put some in the cap and just use a big blush brush and put it all over my face. And this is like literally a perfect blend for me. I mean, if you guys are having weddings and stuff and you just want something that will last <laughs> forever, and by the way, if it gets in your mouth, it will taste like peach. If it doesn't, you know it went bad. But you might get some in your mouth. It's not edible, so don't try to eat it. But it does taste like peach. <clears throat> but this is what my face looked like so far. With all that. Now, here come the fun part. The fun part is when I get to put on glowy stuff. So I could find glowy highlight and glowy bronzer and all that and just put the look together. So for regular bronzer, of course you guys know I said I'm going to be using this bronzer. I figure it'll be perfect. And I'm going to use my brush to bronze up so I look nice and bronzed. As soon as I find it, which this is no reason why I cannot wait to get my desk. Because once I get my desk, I can actually, so I'm going to put it the same place I put that um, cream bronzer. And it does a great job blending and everything. And you can see that I'm all bronzed, all chisel, chisel, like a very shop. I cannot wait to see my husband, you know. He, I can't wait to see. He can't wait to see me in all my glory. The dress, the whole nine yards. Okay, so for blush, I was going to do this one. I was looking through all my blushes. I was trying to find something that's glowy, but natural. I mean, I don't want to go overboard, but yet, I want to look, you know, romantic. I want to look like, you know, he never saw me like this before. Kind of like a first time we went out to dinner and stuff, and I walked down, and all, I had my makeup on and everything, and he literally was like, damn, so, you know, I want that again, I want him to say that again, so, I figure I test all my blushes, and this is the only one that actually will look good with the eyeshadow and everything, so it's the Buxom Wonder Blush in Dolly, and this is actually Prime with Fuse, which means it's going to stay on for a long time long 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 time of course I'm going to use my favorite br brush it's very pigmented so a little bit goes a long way so I'm trying to make sure you know I don't look like a clown either which would suck so I always tap off the accent and then we will blush away now that is perfect see and I just pretty much just swirl and do back here. That we have a nice glow of blush. 
I know some people on their nose, but I don't know. I think it look weird if I have like blush on my nose. So a little bit more. Careful accent. I guess I won't look like a clown because a little bit goes a long way. But yeah, I mean this is like literally perfect. Like the rose and all that. This is like beautiful. And if I want to, I take my powder brush and just blend everything together so it looks all natural. Now for highlight, this is why I want to go bling bling bling. So the highlight I choose is my one favorite highlight from Colourpop in Flexity. Now this is where I'm going to be going bling. You know, I want at least... My husband see me at least down the aisle before I even walk up the aisle. If I can even get open. Oh, got it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my hand and actually use watch. But this, literally, how bling it is. And that's what I'm going to look like. So I'm going to put a little bit on my cheekbone, of course. And then tap on my nose. Tip of my nose. Keep his bow, and of course on the other side, and I'll just spray it with my fingers, and then I'll go back with a brush, and I will spread the brush, and I'll probably use that in my inner corner too. But I'll use my brush that I have to do this. And as soon as I find it, somewhere around here, so it'll be this one, and this. So yeah, and this will actually melt everything in and blend everything in. That way I won't look like, I mean, oh, I look glowy, but you know, to a certain point. I do want to look glowy. I want to look like a freaking out of space. Especially on this occasion. I mean, on this occasion, you want to look good. You want to look beautiful. You want to look glowy. You want to look all that stuff. So yeah. I think that's cool enough. Okay. Now we got the glow on. Woo! Probably have like the um, buy all that I have. I got a new one. I'm probably do that on my shoulders and my necklace and all that because the dress I have is actually got like stripes. So it's not like actually link one where you got like sleeves. It's more like one look like you want you know stripes and all that so okay so now we got the face done now time for the eyes and I'm gonna move closer in for the eyes that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing my eyes and how this is all gonna come together so I'm gonna use my primer and it's the AOA primer I'm just going to use this to pull on my eyes. And the actually brow product I'm going to be using is from Gimme Brow. Is this one right here. The tinted one. But I might end up using my ABH one just to fill in what it has it um, got. So like if I got little spores and not filling in you know any piece of my hair then I'll just go back over that but you know I want my eyes to be the attention and I want you know I want my face and eyes to be attention I don't want you know my attention to be my eyebrows and before I start the eye I always spray just to melt in the um powders and I'm using of course Milani make it last very good spray but I've got to close my eyes for that but this will melt everything in and okay so I'm gonna use the same powder I used to sand underneath my eyes for my eyebrows for my eyes because always, it always seems to work better that way. So I'm going to go ahead and get my 
shader and I just take a little bit and put it underneath my eye just so I can set it. That way, you know, it won't be going everywhere. So I'm going to use my favorite brush. This one right here from Glam Doll. I don't know why, it's going to be my favorite one. Then for the palette, we are going to be using the shade, the one. So it would be this one right here. That's the one I'll be using first to start my crease. And then we'll use it to keep it up. So let's go ahead and start this look. So I'm just using it to, to, you know, set the crease, have something in my crease, and then I'll use the same brush to deep it up. So we'll do the same thing on the other side, and that's the same. The good thing about this is that the shadows are blendable, the shimmers have hardly any fallout. I mean, Colourpop does an extremely good job when it comes to this. But when I first put this on and actually test this out when I first got the palette, I knew for a fact this one I wanted for my wedding day. Okay, now that we got that in there, I'm going to do a little deepening. So we're going to actually go to cheek to cheek, which is that one right there. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit, deep it up. And then, I'm going to actually use the bronzer to even do more deepening. Because doing a very soft eye look. <clears throat> if you had any noise, it would be my son in the background. So just ignore that, like I'm trying to. Sorry. Try to get this done before my wedding day. So that way it could be... Oh, if you guys saw the one before today, the one before that is actually in the way haul. So I want to get this all done before the um, wedding days. Again, I won't be filming next weekend. It's a celebration and you know, I don't want to film and celebrate at the same time. I want to enjoy my wedding day. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll use a clean brandy blush to blend all of these together. And I'm going to use actually a different color for that to deep, to, um, deep it up. Again, I cannot find my white blending brush, which I know I have. There we go. Found it. So I'm going to blend this up. And this actually... So this is what the eye looked like so far. See, it's very soft, but I'm going to use this one color right here. Even though it got glitter, I think it'll be a perfect outer color to help with the other one. So, this is what the color look like. That's what's going to be on the outside. So, I'm just going to use my brush, flat brush. And that way we could do that. So I find it again. Tend to lift stuff that I don't want to lose. I don't know why. It just happens. And it takes long to film because of that. Come on, brush, brush, brush. I know I got you out. I got you out. Where the hell are you? I know I didn't put you back in here. <sighs> Brushes tend to get lost. This is the reason why, again, I'm glad to have my own found it. I'm actually glad when I get my own desk so I have everything situated and everything where I need to be so I won't be trying to find it all in 
So I'm going to put this on the outer crease and that way be a little deepening. And you can't really see the sparkle. But yeah, this is pretty much going to be on the outer crease and then I'm going to blend it in with a regular with my clean brush again. my clean brush. Just add it, 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 just add it. Okay, so we're going to use that and we are going to blend, 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 and probably do a little more of the deepening. It's also this one right here, which I might end up using too, just get extra dimension. And I'll probably do that as soon as I get done with this. Okay, now that's done. We'll go to the other one, which is a deeper color, and we'll go blush one. And that would definitely give extra dimension. Okay, so there we go. We got some more deepening. So yeah, this is a palette I definitely, you know, it's nice and soft and all that. But it works. I mean, it's a, to me, my opinion, it's the perfect looking one. Just blend all this together. Of course, I fall, but again, very easy to fall. Swipe away. But that will look like so far. And then the main attraction, this one. Now this is beautiful. Again. Yeah. So I'm gonna put some on my eye. And I'm pretty much going to focus all on my lid. And pretty much halfway. Almost when I meet like the outer corner. But. And that way, this will definitely be the focus. And then go ahead and. Sometimes I did try the brush, but sometimes I feel like it's a lot better. With my fingers, I can actually get it where I want it. But this is pretty much how it looks, and it's like extremely perfect. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, same way, and just focus this close to the outer edge, but mostly through the inner corner to the center of my lid. And again, this will be perfect. And then we will do clean blending. Blend just a little bit so we can tie everything together. And that is the look, and then of course we're going to use my color pump for the inner corner. So the same one I use on my cheekbones and all that is going to be the same thing I use for my inner corner. Of course, I'm going to have to use my hand. So, like that. And then we're going to use the pop a bottom on the brow bone, which is this one right here. So, I'm going to use that on my brow bone. 
with the same brush that I use to tie in the look and then we'll do a little bit of eyebrow to connect everything and would probably what's gonna do Lena but I'm gonna actually do this off camera and actually do that on my way day because <laughs> it's late. I'm gonna film me this and I just wanna get this done over with in a way. But I'll show you what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna use my um I Elf gel liner on the way day of course but the mascara I chose is my favorite one of all which is the Bambi one only because it does a great job open my eyes and I want my eyes to be big and bold so this is the perfect mascara for it so I'm just going to use this to coat my lashes and I ain't gonna do on the bottom one because you guys know it tend to smudge so I'm just gonna stick with the top one they tend to work a lot better when I only stick or do, do the top one but you can see like literally how beautiful this is and this is like literally running photo because I am going to take a lot of photos. So I need to look my best. You can see I'm glowing. Even though I look mad. I still got the glow of the highlighter. The glow of the blush. You got the eyes. This is like a whole new level of glowing. And romantic at the same time. Okay, now we got that together. I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows. So we're just going to use the Gimme Brow Tinted 1 in shade 4. And again, you know, if I need extra dimension in my brows, if I need some more filling, then I'll use my ABH one to fill in what I need to fill in. That way it look like I got eyebrows. But again, I don't want to be the main focus. I want my eyes to be the main focus. On this beautiful, amazing day. But I truly think my fiancé is going to love this. And, you know, it's something that he not saw me. He saw me dressed up before. But this is probably like a whole new level for him. Yeah. So yeah, this is like, holy moly, you look damn good type stuff. Because the way I saw it in a suit, yeah, I don't want to look as good as that. So, just get the rest of my eyebrows. And then for lips, of course, this is hard to decide. Only because I know I'll be eating. I know I'll be drinking, and I'm going to zoom you guys out that way, you guys. There we go. Now we can see the whole face. But, because I know I'm eating and drinking that day, and I didn't want anything to smudge, I know I'll be kissing my husband a lot, and I knew he would be like, ew, yuck, gross, lipstick. Because he always wipes out any time he kisses me, because he know if I got lip product on, it, on me. So, trying to figure out something that actually stay, but matches with this and look good. So, what I decided is... The lippy stick from Colourpop, which is a nice, beautiful, like, pinky red, which again, I think will look good with this. And that's the color. So for lips, I decided to do the lip liner in El Masque, and it is actually called Lush. So yeah, I was making different decisions, trying to figure out what will look good, what, you know, and all that but I came with this so I'm just going ahead and line up my lips and hide it a little filling in and you know I call this we apply too I will be at home to do that oh let's go hell else with this and 
you know, get the shape. And then we'll go ahead and put on the lippy stick. Like I say, it's not like a blue red, it's more like a pinky red. It is actually a matte um, lip. Yeah, I got I Heart. This it actually a matte crayon with cream at the same time. And yeah. That will look like. So I'm gonna have all my glasses, take my hair down, and then I'll show you a preview of what my hair could look like for the wedding. So as soon as I got the makeup done, which actually I don't look that bad, I don't mind my hair after wash it. And <laughs> but I think about either doing half up and do a little bun. Well actually have some of my hair down like that, and then half up with a little bun. I put my hair all the way up with a bun with a crust, you know, side. And I was going to do like little curls and stuff, and rings, and something like that. Because I'm going to actually have my veil and my crown to go on that day. So this is actually the final look that I'm possibly going to be using. Of course, you know, by that time I'll have my liner on and, you know everything but I figured this would be perfect for the wedding because you got the attention of the eyes which is glistening but you got the glow but romantic at the same time and this is something I don't think my husband ever will expect me to do or uh, even see I guarantee pray God he'll drop his mouth and bug out his eyes but yeah this is it I hope you guys like the video if you do, give it a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, and all that. And if you guys are getting made, or if anyone's getting made and stuff, just tell me and all that jazz. I'll see you later. I'll see you next time. Bye!